Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark again, Nuts for Art, and I'm pretty excited to be back with you again. I'm going to start reading this book, Poison Power, but this is going to be a separate video because I really want to talk to you about something that's big on my mind. I've talked to you guys about this book. It's got a 10% off sticker, so that's not really part of it, this. Ignore that. But uh, The Four Agreements, this is the book, and... Um, I buy these in bulk and I mail them out to people because I think it's really important. And I've talked to you about this on my radio show. Um, the Four Agreements is a book that has changed my life. It really uh, helps ground me. It's not a religious book. It's a basic set of philosophy. And the Four Agreements are this. Um, be impeccable with your word. And that means uh, do what you say you're going to do and... Uh, own what you do. Don't talk shit about yourself or anybody else. The second one is um, don't take anything personally. Understand that other people have their own little dream world going on. So whatever happens that people do to hurt your feelings, make an effort to shake it off because usually you're not their motivating factor for them hurting your feelings. They've got some other process going on. The third one is don't make assumptions, and that means don't assume people know what you're thinking, so you have to tell them what's on your heart, and you also have to have the courage to ask questions and speak up and speak your mind. And the number four is always do your best, and uh, that's pretty obvious. We don't need to explain that, but that's what made me really urgently want to share this with you. I was coming to very excited about being able to read Poison Power with you tonight and starting it, and I quit work probably about, I was planning on quitting work around 8.30, quarter to 9. And then I came across something. I was preparing taxes for someone. You guys know I do that. And I couldn't find some documents. So I went to this box where I hired somebody, a subcontractor, to do some data entry. The person needed some QuickBooks. It looked professional. Everything looked good. The books balanced. The bank statements balanced. I opened up this box. It was in complete disarray. The guy did the least amount of work possible. Tax documents scattered everywhere. Nothing separated. Um, and it really, like, drove it home. You know, I terminated his work with me last week, uh, mostly because I felt like he wasn't enthusiastic. He came in and said he wanted to be part of the war machine, which I had a big issue with, and it made me really start looking at the quality of his work. And I realized, you know, I'm kind of wasting my money hiring somebody at 15 bucks an hour to do work that I could do in half the time. So I terminated him. But uh, you know what? Like I have to say, I'm glad I did. But I want to encourage people to do their best. I know that when I was employed in, gosh, it must be 18, 19 years ago. But when I worked for other people, I did work with a... A heart that meant that I I pretended like the business was mine. Like, how would I want it to be run? And I think that we're lacking that kind of integrity in our country. And this is part of the, the movement, I think, of what we're creating here through this community of YouTube and awareness and demanding accountability. It's like, what do we want out of our elected officials, out of every every single person, the people in the grocery store, the way they bag your bag, bag your, you know, your stuff. I mean, I know when I was younger, I used to get all flipped out with my kids when they'd like smash the bread because I was poor with my children and having smashed bread, one loaf of smashed bread meant my kids had to eat yicky sandwiches for the next two weeks or the next week and a half. So. I don't know. I'm just sharing this thought with you because I think it is time for us to raise our level of integrity, not just find our courage, but we really need to have integrity. And it's very important for every one of us to rise to the occasion and raise our standards of expectations of the work we do for other people, placing ourselves in service towards other people and just you know, it, it, doing as much as we possibly can to make the situation better instead of just doing the least amount possible. 
We haven't had this conversation. There's a lot of screaming and yelling about how stupid people are and how dumb they are and how ignorant they are and how lazy they are. And this is actually kind of an opposite video. I am encouraging people to raise up their standard of expectations with themselves. Live up to that high standards for yourself. And I actually found that this book, The Four Agreements, really helped me stop the negative self-chatter that went on in my head. I think I probably found this book 15 years ago. So um, I just want to share that thought with you because we are a strong, capable species. And we are capable of many things. And love is actually our greatest attribute. And when we are motivated by love, we can pretty much do anything. And I personally feel very in love with the entire process of living and life. Like I am completely in love with living and I love my children. And the reason that I do this all the time and I got the courage up to actually sit in front of a camera and talk to a camera to a bunch of people I don't know is because I love my children. That is really the fundamental bottom line. Fukushima has freaked me out so badly. I recognize that we are killing our fucking ocean. We're killing our planet by allowing these big mega corporations to just roll over us. And we're just laying down like right now, 6 million people are uh, exposed to uranium. That came out, eight, what was it, 89 times above the uh, safe le limits. Not just uranium, the nitrate levels are like a hundred, over 100 times. So there's a lot of information that we really need to just digest and Raise our levels of expectations for ourselves. The only people that we can actually correct are ourselves. We can't make anybody else change. We can change ourselves. So I just, I'm going to post this video uh, actually right now. And then I'm going to post another video where I get to read our new book and start it. I'm very excited because we need this book to be read right now. We need this information to be out in the airwaves. They're trying to shove it down our throats. And guess what? We want to live and we believe that humanity has a right to live. And so does every species on this planet. So, so find your courage. Actually, it's not that hard to find your courage. Walk in love and walk with courage. Put your courage feet on. Make an effort to raise your level of standards for yourself. Do the best you can and don't beat yourself up. Like, encourage yourself. Encourage yourself. Remember that you're doing an excellent job. We live in a really harsh world. Life has never been easy. And it's not easy today, even though we have all these conveniences and everything seems really easy. Life is not easy. And it is, I don't think that's part of the plan of life. Life is not easy, but it's joyous. And it can be easy with the correct attitude. And even though we have big, gigantic challenges in front of us, that does not mean that we have to feel sad, depressed, unhappy, walk around with anxiety, we can actually turn that message around. When you read this book, you'll understand. And if anybody wants this book and you cannot afford it, it's about 10 bucks, I think. Send me an email at nutsforart at gmail, N-U-T-Z-F-O-R-A-R-T at gmail, and I'll mail you a book. I've probably mailed out a 100 of these books over the last 10 years since I realize that it helps my clients. That's one of the things when somebody becomes my client, I send them a little set of books because we need to change our internal thinking so we can create a different present situation. So I'll end here. Thank you for uh, watching my channel. I really appreciate your support and all the great kind words that people say to me. Thank you for watching the age, uh, listening to the Age of Fission radio show and participating on Fridays when we have the call-ins. I really enjoy that. So I'll talk to you soon, you guys. Put your courage feet on, and uh, let's raise up our level of self-expectations, okay? Ciao.